Potential home buyers take note. The Canadian Real Estate Association is predicting the national average home price is going to rise 6% this year. Here with his outlook for the 2020 housing market is real estate expert David Fleming. Good to have you back. Thank you. All right, what's your prediction? Where are we going to see these prices gain? Well, coming into this year, I thought it would be in the detached market here, specifically in Toronto. Um, that has changed literally in three weeks. So far, what we've seen in the downtown Toronto condo market is insane. Uh, I don't want to draw comparisons to 2017 when the market went up 20% in four months in Toronto, but the condo market is absolutely on fire right now. Just for people across the country, sure. give us a sense of what kind of price are they looking at? Um, here in Toronto, I mean, there was one in Liberty Village around the corner from us. Uh, the same model that sold for 580 last May just sold for 630. So you're talking literally uh, <laughs> a double-digit return inside of a half a year. It's outrageous. Wow. Okay. You also say in Canada, we're going to know at least one person who's going to tell us this sure. year they're moving away from a big city. Yeah. And while the net migration in Toronto is actually still, it's up there, right? And that would, is what causes the deficit in supply and demand. You're still seeing people move outside the city. So, you know, one of my wife's best friends, they picked up and they moved to Winnipeg where they bought a house in cash. And literally last night I was sitting with a couple who is going to move to Ottawa because they can buy a house in cash or they can buy a house that's twice as big for the same price. Yeah. We just learned of a couple who are moving to New Brunswick. Cash out here in Ontario. They yeah. are mortgage free. They're going to travel every everywhere they want exactly. to go. Yeah. Uh, the average home price in the greater Toronto area, just for reference, is $843,000. Greater Vancouver sitting at $990,000. Could more rental housing be the fix here? Um, don't shoot the messenger here. There's a common misconception that rental housing is going to cost less than a condominium that is up for rent. Both people are in the nature of profits, right? That's, that's why developers build rental housing. That is why developers build condominiums. I don't think that's the answer, um, but it might ease, uh, let's say, the supply and demand equation if we were to see rental housing come onto the market instead of condominiums. Uh, the federal government has put in place the first time home buyers incentive. How is that going to play into the 2020 market? If you live outside Toronto or Vancouver, it could work for you, but unfortunately the max purchase price somewhere around 500000 I mean, what are you going to get in Toronto or Vancouver for $500,000? I commend the federal government for trying, but I don't think that's going to have any effect here in the big city. Uh, what's the big takeaway for you as you look down 2020 at this market that we're is already seeing such huge gains? Resiliency. Um, you know, I mean, people think I have a vested interest in it because I sell real estate for a living. I still remain bullish on the market. I think it's going to continue to go up uh, short, medium, and long term. David, good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.